Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and I apologize for there not being a video on Tuesday. Um, I've been a little under the weather. I did go travel and visit family, which was wonderful, but I've had a sinus infection that's been going on for quite a while, and finally I've convinced my doctor, and uh, I've started taking the antibiotics today, and it should just do wonders. But uh, I didn't get home and feel well enough to paint, but I did crochet. I taught myself a new stitch today, and I'm really loving how it's working out with this big, chunky, recycled uh, polyester. And I wanted to put up a video to say hi and show you what I've been working on, what I've been thinking about. And uh, this is part of it. I spent um, a better part of today uh, just in my jammies, um, drinking hot soup and crocheting. How can I ever resist those eyes? Look at that little brown dog with the pleading eyes. I, can't, I have no resistance. This is my best friend. And it's wonderful to be back home with her. And she's right next to a painting I'm going to show you next. So this is the last painting that I did. And I'm calling this style a fantastical botanical. And it is a style that has appeared before in my work. If you said to be paint of an antique or Baroque, Renaissance-ish looking, uh, detailed, uh, heavily textiled tapestry painting, I could never paint it. But there's something magical about fluid and what it does when you learn how to manipulate it. And so I hope you enjoy this. It's really pretty in person. I'm very pleased with this. It's finally starting to feel like spring. Magnolias and daffodils in bloom and tulips are coming. And here's another piece that I've been crocheting on uh, over the last few days. I guess I'm drawn to these colors. If you look at my paintings and you look at some of my photography and then at the colors that I choose to crochet or knit with, um, I have a, a certain palette that obviously I like to repeat. 